Welcome to this QuickBooks Online Tutorial for Beginners 2018. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. And in this video, I want to go through class tracking in QuickBooks Online. Okay, so if you're not familiar with class tracking in general, uh, class tracking allows you to uh, track uh, your income and expenses based on departments, um, based on you know divisions of a business that you want to track. Okay, so as an example, Craig's Design and Landscape Services, they may have a commercial and a residential division. Okay, so it's important for them to track how much income and how much expense they're getting from each of those divisions. All right, so they know, hey, in our commercial division, we are, you know, we have a 50% profit margin or 20% or whatever it is. And in our residential, we have a 10%. Okay, so when they start to look at their business and they say, okay, you know, if if I'm getting a, you know, a 20% margin on my commercial and a 10% on my residential, it may make sense to go after more commercial accounts and not as many residential accounts. All right, because those commercial accounts are bigger, you know, so one job on an annual basis might be worth $10,000, whereas one residential might be worth 2000 all right, so you'd rather have a lot more, uh, you know, a lot of these bigger accounts potentially, as opposed to a bunch of little accounts that don't make as much money. All right, so let's jump into this. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to your preferences over here, the gear icon, account and settings. And we're going to go to the advanced tab. All right, so you'll see here there's an option categories track classes. All right, so click that we're going to track classes. All right. Now it says, warn me when a transaction isn't assigned a class. Okay. I would recommend checking this if you are going to do class tracking and assign classes one to each row in a transaction. You could do that or one to an entire transaction. So right now we're going to do one to each row and I'll show you what that means. All right. So let's click save. All right, so we've done that in our preferences. So you got to first, uh, the accountant setting, you got to first turn that on. All right, so let's go to an expense. Let's say that we need to add uh, an expense. And um, uh, let's say that new transaction, okay, expense. We'll wait here for a second for this to come up. Okay, so we'll say that this is, Bob's burger joint. Okay, so checking uh, date, payment method, we can go ahead and put that in and put uh, cash. And we're going to put, uh, let's say that this is meals. Okay, uh, meals and entertainment. All right, description amount $25. And you'll see now that it has this class field. All right. So this is where you're gonna you're going to specify what class it goes to. So we don't have any classes set up. So we're gonna click Add New. All right, and let's say that this is residential. All right. Okay. And while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and add a new one too. So we're gonna say we need two classes: residential and commercial. Okay. So we'll say this one goes to commercial, twenty-five dollars. All right. So let's hit save and close. So now let's go to a different transaction. Let's say that we want to enter a bill. All right. So this one is going to be a, let's say that this was Hicks hardware and okay. And we're going to say that this is something a little bit bigger for a job. Okay. So let's say that this is uh, job materials, uh, decks and patios. And we're going to put in the amount. Uh, let's say that this is twelve hundred and fifty dollars. All right, and we can. We're not going to uh, put this necessarily. We're not going to build the build this. Let's see. I wonder if that's under Jeff Hicks. Okay. Well, we won't assign it to a customer in this example. I want to show you the classes. All right. So, let's say this is commercial. Okay. And we're going to hit save and close. And then the last thing I want to show you is let's do an invoice for a customer. Okay, so let's say this is a new invoice. And let's say that this is 
uh, let's say this is cool cars, okay? Product and service, all right? Let's say that this is, uh, let's just pick something. We'll say services and quantity 50 times 100, so it's $5,000. And you'll see here the class field again. All right, so again, we're gonna add commercial, all right? We're not gonna send this, we're just gonna hit save and close for now, okay? So now I wanna show you in the reports when we specify these classes, what this is gonna do. So let's go to the profit and loss, all right? Let me get rid of some of this stuff, okay? And display columns by classes, all right? And let's see, select period, accrual, let's run this report. And now you'll see that uh, commercial, we've got services invoice of $5,000. We've got the job materials of 1250 meals and entertainment, 25 net income, 3725 okay? And you'll see here that not specified. So if, if you have class tracking set up and you don't specify a class, it's going to default to this not specified. All right, so what a lot of businesses will do, we'll set up, say, commercial, residential, and then administrative. So if there's some expenses that just apply to the entire business and can't really be put to a certain class like commercial or residential, they'll put administrative. But the goal then is to classify everything so that you can see your profit and loss according to your divisions, uh, according to you know segments of the business, whatever you want to track. All right. Hope this video helped. Uh, love to have you join us over at the QuickBooks University where, um, you know, with the, the full range of training in QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop. Uh, also, I uh, give personal support to members of the QuickBooks University. You know, I also do uh, when they have a specific problem with their QuickBooks, I will do a video specifically for them to show them how to do it in their QuickBooks file. So head on over there. QuickBooks University is qbuniversity.org.